Living organisms on Earth are driven to compete for resources, to adapt to their environments, and to pass on their adaptations to future generations. The course of this process has resulted in the incredible variety of life we see around us, from microscopic bacteria in hydrothermal springs to colossal aquatic mammals, and has given certain species extraordinary abilities. Among those abilities is the power to generate electric potential by controlling the flow of ions into and out of cells within the body. Although electrical impulses are found in many animals, only a select few species are able to produce electricity that travels outside their body. Electric eels, native to South America, are well known for generating electric shocks of over 800 volts for hunting and communication, a phenomenon documented for hundreds of years. Recent understanding of how electric eels are able to accomplish such an impressive feat has revealed biological mechanisms that could help develop bio-inspired technologies, including biological batteries that could be integrated into life-saving medical devices. Animals that could generate electricity have been known since antiquity. The ancient Egyptians and Greeks used shocks delivered by the electric catfish found in the Nile River for medicinal purposes. European explorers traveling across South America and the Caribbean during the late 18th century investigated electric eels and electric rays and documented the severe electric shocks the animals could deliver to incapacitate prey as large as horses. Electric eels fascinated many of the greatest scientific minds of the time, leading to advancements in anatomy, physiology, chemistry, and physics, but it was only in the mid-20th century that the molecular mechanisms behind electric eels' abilities were unraveled. The most defining function of the membrane of animal cells is the extremely precise regulation of the contents of the cell and their separation from the outside environment. Living cells control the transport of water, ions, and complex molecules through the plasma membrane by various means depending on the characteristics of the substance. Ions such as potassium, sodium, and chloride are not able to freely move across the plasma membrane due to their electric charge and must be transported through specialized ion channels. These specialized ion channels are proteins, able to not only allow ions to pass through the membrane, but also to move ions up their concentration gradient by a process known as active transport. The regulation of potassium, sodium, and chloride ions is the primary contributor to what is known as a resting membrane potential, an electrochemical potential resulting from the difference in concentrations of these ions across the plasma membrane. Most types of cells maintain a nearly constant membrane potential and cannot quickly polarize or depolarize. Muscle cells and neurons, by contrast, can trigger what is known as an action potential, a coordinated sequence of sodium and potassium channels opening and closing that causes an abrupt spike in the membrane potential. In neurons, the action potential resulting from the movement of ions across the plasma membrane propagates down the length of the cell with the help of voltage-gated ion channels and causes another activation potential in a downstream neuron. Neurons that connect to muscles, known as motor neurons, provide the electrochemical signal that results in muscle movement. From the beginning of depolarization to the end of the refractory period, during which the cell restores its baseline ion concentrations, the process of an action potential lasts approximately 4 milliseconds. Over the course of its evolution, the electric eel's posterior muscles became organs capable of synchronously depolarizing thousands of specialized cells in order to produce an electric potential change. In contrast to muscle, where muscle fibers are arranged in parallel, the cells in the electric eel's organs are arranged in series, effectively adding together the electric potential from each cell. A single electrocyte may be able to generate only a fraction of a volt of potential, but stacked in series, the combined potential of the electrocytes is hundreds of volts. Electric eels have three electric organs, known as the main organ, hunter's organ, and sac's organ. 
Within these organs, neurons connected to individual electrocytes provided the electrochemical stimulus for the cells to simultaneously depolarize. Bundles of electrocytes in parallel can provide additional power by increasing the discharge current. In the murky waters of South American rivers, the ability to generate powerful electric discharges would have provided several evolutionary advantages to the electric eel. The electric pulses generated by the animals are used for communication, and electric eels are known to hunt in groups. Acting as both a defensive and offensive mechanism, the electric eel's shocks can also stun prey by causing uncontrollable muscle contractions. The prevalence of electrogeneration among aquatic animals specifically is a product of the necessity of water to act as a conductor and to complete the electric circuit. The organs of the electric eel may have inspired Alessandro Volta's first electrochemical battery in 1800, a design that would in turn be the inspiration for simple household batteries we use today. Volta's battery implemented alternating copper and zinc layers, separated by cloth or paper soaked in conductive salt solutions to facilitate reduction and oxidation reactions. While the principle of the modern battery has remained nearly the same, the materials used in modern batteries have improved dramatically. Nevertheless, the vast majority of modern batteries use metals that are difficult to extract or environmentally harmful, prompting investigation into novel battery technologies that could be cleaner and greener. The complexity of electric eel organs makes synthetic alternatives difficult to create, but recent work utilizing hydrogels has achieved results similar to those seen in nature. Hydrogels are typically polymeric scaffolds that have absorbed large quantities of water and have been researched for biomedical applications due to their biocompatibility. Microfluidic devices can be used to create hydrogel arrays with varying sizes and compositions, including hydrogels that function as ion-selective membranes or store specific concentration of ions akin to the plasma membranes of living cells. By arranging these hydrogels in a large-scale pattern that mimics the arrangement of electrocytes within electric eel organs, it is possible to make a contact-based electrical energy source. When the hydrogel layers come into contact, the selectively permeable membranes allow ions to flow down their concentration gradient. Since the sodium and chloride ions travel in opposite directions, a net current is generated upon contact. By organizing layers of hydrogels both in series and parallel orientation, an increase in power can be achieved. A folding technique inspired by rigid origami and used for folding solar panels in orbital spacecraft ensures that hydrogel contact is synchronized. Biocompatible batteries such as those inspired by electric eel anatomy could lead to huge improvements in therapeutics and medical devices. Pacemakers, which normally require metal-based batteries, could already run on the low power output demonstrated with existing biobatteries. In tissue engineering, electrogenic hydrogels could find use in electrical stimulation of tissues for proper development. Many improvements are currently under development for biobatteries, including making the hydrogel membranes self-repolarizing or thinner to decrease resistance and thus increase power output. Synthetic analogs of the electric eel's abilities are far from perfect, but the natural world continues to provide potential solutions to mankind's most critical issues. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or subscribe for more educational content. Check out some of the other videos on the channel to keep learning more about biology, chemistry, physics, history, and many more topics.